Long Fang is easily one of the most interesting villains in the Avatar series. Brian Konietzko even remarked how Long Fang ended up being, quote, much deeper and more nefarious than our main villain, the Fire Lord. He was also one of the more unexpected villains. Not that we ever really thought he was a good guy, but throughout the whole show leading up to the Ba Sing Se arc, Ba Sing Se is hyped up as this magnificent city. The great city of Ba Sing Se. If the city is as magnificent as its wall, Ba Sing Se must be something to behold. From what I heard, people eat like this every night in Ba Sing Se. I can't wait to set my eyes on that giant wall. The last great Earth Kingdom stronghold. Now Ba Sing Se is the only great Earth Kingdom stronghold left. He never really expected it to be so shady, ruled behind the scenes by a corrupt leader. Well, well, I didn't at least. Did, did you see that coming? I remember hating him when I first watched the show. In a good way. He was a great character. The guy you love to hate. Being such a good villain, it was kind of a shame that he only appeared in six episodes. And heck, in one episode he only appears for a brief moment. Although it's a crucial moment. I think he is only ever mentioned one time after season two, when Azula is questioning the Dai Li's loyalty to her. Dai Li would never betray you. And I'm sure that's just what you told Long Feng before you turned against him and joined me. Hey, she had a good point. They were all loyal to Long Feng. Council of Five and the military are loyal to the Earth King, but the Dai Li remains loyal to you. And then wham, they betray him. Damn flip-flopping Dai Li. Anyway, I always wondered what happened to Long Feng. So this video will basically be just speculation about what happened to him. Here are the possibilities. Number one, he rotted in prison for the rest of his life. So Azula could have just thrown him in prison after she defeated him. I doubt she would banish him or anything and leave him as a loose end. And then after the war, the Earth King would have just kept him in prison also. Or he could have been sent to a prison in the Fire Nation, in which case Team Avatar would probably tell Fire Lord Zuko to keep him in prison. So yeah, he could have just spent the rest of his life rotting in prison. Number two, he went to prison and somehow escaped later. So it's possible he went to prison in Ba Sing Se and escaped somehow. Perhaps a few Dai Li agents were still loyal to him and let him out. Or perhaps during or after the White Lotus retook Ba Sing Se, someone may have let out a bunch of prisoners that had been imprisoned by the Fire Nation. And he could have been accidentally let out by someone who didn't know who he was. He could have lied and said he was imprisoned because he was part of one of the resistance movements. Ba Sing Se is still under our control. However, Earthbender rebellions have prevented us from achieving total victory in the Earth Kingdom. Although, I don't know how likely it would be for someone to just let out a bunch of prisoners without clearing it with someone first. I feel like Team Avatar and the Earth King would try to make sure that he stayed in prison, but maybe something like that could have happened in the heat of the battle. If he did manage to escape, he would probably just go into hiding for the rest of his life to avoid detection. If he was lucky, he'd end up managing a Cinnabon in Omashu. Number three, he was executed. On second thought, Azula is not that nice of a person and might not want to risk him breaking out and seeking revenge. So yeah, she could have had him executed. She thought a merciful punishment for a servant's mistake was banishment. Forgive me. Oh, very well. Since it is a special day, I will show mercy. You are banished. What would the regular punishment have been? And she tried to kill Zuko before, and she basically killed Aang, so it wouldn't be above Azula to execute someone. That's pretty obvious. I don't know why I said that. I know they would not have had this on screen because Avatar can't be too dark or violent, but I don't think it would have been too dark to mention it happening. Some pretty dark things happen off screen on this show. What the Fire Nation did with their last group of Earth Kingdom prisoners? Dressed them up in Fire Nation uniforms and put them on the front line unarmed. Then they just watched. So I feel like they would have mentioned it if that was the writer's idea of what happened to him. Which brings us to... Number four. 
The writers didn't think his fate was important to the story, and figured only a few hardcore fans would even think about it, and that those fans would just come up with their own answers. So yeah, that basically just speaks for itself. Heck, maybe they didn't even think there would be a few hardcore fans that would think about it at all. So I think that's basically all the plausible possibilities that we can guess about his fate based on what we know. I still wish we could have seen more of him in the show, so now I will talk about ways he could have possibly been written back into the story, assuming he wasn't executed. Number one, we see him at the Boiling Rock prison. It might have been cool if we saw him at the Boiling Rock. It did hold the Fire Nation's most important prisoners, after all. So if he was thrown in prison, they might want him to be far away from Ba Sing Se and the Dai Li so he couldn't possibly conspire against them. I'm not sure if they ever sent earthbenders to the Boiling Rock. There did seem to be some earth in the central courtyard and around the side of the prison. And we never saw anyone earthbending there. It would probably be a pretty bad idea to send waterbenders there. But perhaps Long Fang could be held in an all-metal, or wood, section of the prison, specially designed for earthbenders, where they would never be let out into the courtyard. It might have been cool if he somehow teamed up with Sokka and Zuko and the rest of them and helped them escape from the Boiling Rock as revenge against Azula. Perhaps he plays a crucial role in their escape and then somehow maybe dies in the process, but he dies content knowing that he foiled Azula. That would be a good end to his story arc. It would also somewhat ironically slash poetically mirror Jet's story, starting as a villain, but later helping Team Avatar in the end and then dying in the process. Although this would be somewhat different, because it would be more about getting revenge on Azula than helping Team Avatar. If he helped Team Avatar for the sake of it, it might feel out of character. Number two, we see him again in Ba Sing Se. So maybe they would have just thrown him in prison in Ba Sing Se. It might have been cool if a small group of Dai Li remained loyal to him, and then maybe they break him out of prison. And then this small group of rogue Dai Li play a role in the liberation of Ba Sing Se. Perhaps they are sick of seeing their kingdom ruled by the Fire Nation, or maybe Long Fang and the rogue Dai Li could just be doing this to gain amnesty. Perhaps Long Fang suspects that the Fire Nation might be defeated soon, and sees this as a chance to escape from his prison sentence. He wouldn't have much to lose, after all. Maybe they could even play a role in helping the White Lotus organize their attack on Ba Sing Se. Since they're on the inside, and they probably know the city pretty well, they could tell them the best strategies and times to attack, and stuff like that. And it might be interesting if Long Fang and the few Dai Li that helped him actually get amnesty in the end. This could add another layer of realism to the show because bad guys in real life don't always get their comeuppance. Of course he wouldn't get total freedom, perhaps he is placed under constant surveillance and allowed to live somewhere in Ba Sing Se or something like that. And maybe Aang could take away his earthbending just for good measure. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. What I think could have happened to Long Fang, and also some ways he could have been written back into the story. But what about you? What do you think happened to Long Fang? Would you have liked to see him again? If so, how? Leave your ideas in the comments. I'm planning on making other videos like this, about Avatar characters who have unknown fates. This channel's main focus is all things Avatar. Reviews, discussions, critiques, theories, news, etc. So, if you like that show, The Earth King has invited you to Like this video, check out this channel's other videos, and subscribe. Honored to accept his invitation. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-